So we got Mary Ellen, and I say we, I mean Kennedy got Mary Ellen in 2015, I want to say 2016, right when she came out, she got her for Christmas, and um, obviously Mary Ellen and Melody came out relatively close to each other. We also have Melody, and we do love her as well. Her collection is not as full as Mary Ellen's, as we know it sometimes goes that way, but um, Mary Ellen just struck a cute place in our heart and we have enjoyed her since. The Mary Ellen you see in front of you is our second Mary Ellen. I've told this story before, but our first Mary Ellen, um, we would gotten into like figuring out you could sort of straighten doll's hair to help the ends and soften them a little bit. We, did, we do that with Grace's hair sometimes, um, but she has stick straight hair. And we did it with Mary Ellen's and we could never get any curls in it ever, even with like the um, sponge rollers, whatever. So. Uh, it kind of became like a junk doll in the sense that we cut her hair because the ends were so fried. Whatever. We cut her hair into a bob. And then maybe two years ago or last year, I had some rewards points and um, didn't really have that much to get. And I said, this is the perfect time to pick up a new Mary Ellen so that she is um, back to normal, quote unquote. So that's what we did. So I'm going to zoom right into Mary Ellen. First of all, she is so cute to me. Her face mold is adorable. And if you've been watching, you know, I don't know the names of the face molds. And I know there's different ones for creation own dolls. So I can't make ones. I don't know which mold I like. But this mold <laughs> I like. And I think that's the same mold as Isabel, which is a classic mold. Somebody told me in my Isabel video. Anyway, that's the face that I love. She has beautiful green eyes and very... Um, red well not very but red hair and i'd venture to say almost strawberry blondish um if you look at some parts of it it's definitely not as dark as like blair's or 61 but it's very cute and curled at the bottom we have um her meat dress which is this cute striped dress with little mini shrug her shoes are mary or little mary janes and most of her shoes are mary janes um same with Melody, so I think that's just the style. But next to her is her loyal dog Scooter and both of her books. So this is the original book that came with our first Mary Ellen. And then when we got the second one, we got the new version of the book with that cute and adorable cover. And you can see this book is thinner and has more like illustrations which is what they went back to, where this book is a lot thicker and it's just straight text. So I think for kids, this one is the best. Um, and they're most likely to read something like this. It looks way more inviting. For a kid that is um, in third or fourth grade, this might look a little intimidating. So that is our Mary Ellen. So I'm going to start by showing you, I guess, the big items behind her. And then I'll show you her outfits and some items I have behind me. Okay, one of the first things I picked up was Mary Ellen's refrigerator. This was one of the items I picked up. Um, Kennedy was still collecting, but I technically just got it because I liked it. Um, and it was $150. It comes with these little side tables. And these trays are, or these like couch trays, those trays are so cute for um, like, I use them at Christmas time to put more uh, Christmas decorations on them. And then this fridge is like full metal. There's not a lot in it right now because um, it did come with a lot of food, excuse me, but um, I have it in the actual kitchen in the dollhouse. So that's really cute. And then I have, I got last year her Seaside Diner. So cute. And I got it, and this is what AG does, everybody knows, but. Um, I got it because they said it was going out of stock. It said limited quantities. I panicked and I purchased it. It's a really huge purchase. I think it's like $350. Um, and it is huge. And it just sits for right now. But as you know, when I get more space, uh, my plan is to make a doll room. And I will have different sections set up. And so it does take up space now, but pretty soon it will be okay all right if i go to the left here i have set up um 
Mary Ellen's Bakery, which I got for Kennedy in 2019. 2019 is about the time that she kind of stopped being interested in dolls and collecting, probably beforehand, but she was very gracious and let me carry on. Um, and this set was $95. This is the only set I have that has kind of broken apart. Um, the numbers on here don't work in like clearing out the numbers anymore and this top part completely is unattached so I guess that I could re-glue it but um, yeah I haven't had any other items ever do that but really good quality in both the diner and the bakery with uh, porcelain plates and really great accessories so um, the bakery stays um, in storage in one of my storage containers but it is a really nice piece and then uh, years ago they came out with a school set for Mary Ellen and this is part of it it came with um, this map and on this side another map and then it came with this chalkboard with chalk and you could in fact write on it and the little stand and there is a pointer somewhere um, in one of my boxes I didn't pull it out okay before I move on there are a couple of things that are not in this collection that I for sure have I couldn't put my hands on which is super frustrating one I have this flamingo purse and it goes with her flamingo swimsuit which is the cutest little swimsuit it's like a whole romper and I can't find it and if you've seen my clothes like organization video you know that I put all of my clothes in baggies labeled um, and I can't find it so there are a ton of clothes in that bin so it's very possible that I missed it when I was digging out the outfits but I do have that I also have um, her table set it came with a table uh, a lamp a TV guide and a little poodle and I found the poodle I have the table but Reagan's using it right now for one of her stuffed animals and here's the poodle and the lamp is in a different storage item and so I usually pull that table out at Christmas as well when I'm decorating so that I can have more spaces to put things so yeah um, okay so here I have Mary Ellen's TV that's something that I got last year and I really really wanted it because I wanted to do a whole Mary Ellen house because I saw somebody on Facebook do a whole Mary Ellen house and I was like oh my gosh I couldn't believe it, it was so adorable um, and I never got to it I still need the couch um, which I never got and so I don't have this in the dollhouse currently but I got it on Macari for like 60 bucks and it's in really great condition all the pieces were there Oop, if I can reach it and I do remember when this came out there was an app on the iPad because when you turn it around there's a compartment for your iPad you slide the iPad in and you had like a little app that you can make videos on and we used to do it all the time even though we didn't have the TV Kennedy would make those little videos um, and it came with the record player uh, the record excuse me and it has a little plant but very very cute and I just haven't gotten a chance to use it yet so there's that um, all right next let's do sort of an outfit scan and I feel like this whole video is chaotic because there's so much Mary Ellen stuff and I didn't realize how much Mary Ellen stuff I had until I started pulling it out and thanks to my amazing family for helping me get it all pulled out so first up is the poodle skirt outfit and this is from 2015 I have my bag labeled but it came with this really cute pink shirt with ruffles with velcro down the back and this poodle skirt um, very authentic it's cloth and you had that like crinoline that you can put underneath it crindolin I don't know how you say it but I never got it and it's still cute and then the saddle shoes oh my adorable so there's that outfit let me just set them to the side that'll help clear space um, I have her back to school outfit and that came with um, patent leather Mary Jane's 
I have another school outfit for her. This really cute uh, red, white, and blue one with the sweater when they kind of revamped her school um, things with the desk and the rocket launcher. This sweater is adorable. Mary Ellen looks so good in a bow. So they gave us a nice little bow. And then this time we get red Mary Jane's so the sort of peekaboo hole at the top. I think she always looks cute in those types of outfits with a nice bow. Okay, then they also came out recently with the pajama set for her. So we had the button down little dog pajamas with the balloons on them, the capri cut pants, or more like pedal pushers, and then the moccasin style slippers. And that's also cute on her. I guess I can stop saying it's cute on her. All of it's cute on her. Um, and then one of the first outfits that we got was her play outfit. And at the time, her and Melody got a play outfit. So it's this um, faux button down cherry sleeveless shirt, capri pants or jeans, and the little cherry flats. And that is adorable as well. Um, let's see. And then I have her rocking roller skating outfit from 2017. And that was this little outfit little striped something with the pink flats nothing super special uh, but this also had an accessory of her little roller skating uh, pack and when you open this up you have her pair of roller skates which are so cute her little baton a jump rope a beverage because she's hot and socks and little stickers in the bottom there that we did some decorating with. So I thought that was really charming and I loved the um, skates in that and having a little case for it. So that all stays together. And then we have her Christmas dress. And this one is from 2016. Um, oh, that reminds me, we do have her punch set too, but that is in many different places but you will see that in the Christmas um, video because I set it out for Christmas. And that included the punch bowl, the Sprite, the ladles, the cups, things like that. But here's her dress. I think this is one of my favorite holiday dresses. It's this beautiful sort of crunchy fabric with uh, the red polka dots on red. Curls in the back. You have this super cute chubby sweater with, um, I don't even know what you call it, but this little soft wool sort of look it is adorable tights and what kind of shoes Mary Jane's these are bright red Mary Jane's so that was a very cute outfit okay so one of the last things I'll show you go in conjunction with one another and so I will show you both parts first is her sledding outfit from 2019 and I love this outfit um, I just got it last year and I got it with points this is kind of a pricey outfit where there's lots of pieces. And as you know, my feeling is that Be Forever and historical items are always better made, and they are. So we have like an overalls stirrup set with a turtleneck. You have the turtleneck that's like a mock turtleneck, creamy color, very thick. Um, you have Velcro in the back. And then over that, you put these overall bibs. They're very strong. They are denim looking, but they're actually cloth, and they have the stirrup on the bottom. And then on top of that, you put the jacket, which is, it feels legit like tweed, um, and it has working pockets. This color is amazing, perfect for the holidays. And then on her feet, she's got these cute yellow wellies. Again, she lives in Florida. Uh, and I didn't read her books, sorry, so I don't know how much of it is that she's in the snow. They remind me of hunter boots, and they come with little socks to keep her feet nice and dry and warm. And then on top of that, you have the belt that cinches everything together, and her little hat. It's so cute. Wait till I put it on for the holidays. This hat, it covers her face so nicely with the ponytails hanging out and the little curls at the end. Holy moly. Talk about cute. And then I did get her sled last year as well. This is something I got with points and it is literally so cute, so well made. I can't remember how much it was, 
Um, and I kind of stopped giving prices because I remembered my husband was watching this. So don't worry about the prices. But um, this is the sled. It is all wood and metal, so it's quite heavy. It says American Girl. And I usually put this inside the dollhouse sort of propped up during Christmas. Um, she can sit on it. And I took some pictures last year, or maybe I did a short on it last year. She's outside in some of our first snow of the year. And it comes with this very cute thermos that you can open up. And obviously you can't put real drinks in there, but I like how it all opens up so realistically. Okay, so there you have it. That is my Mary Ellen collection. Um, I can't rave enough about Mary Ellen. She's so adorable to me. Um, and she is just really, really cute. I love the thought they've put into her collection. The color scheme is beautiful. That pink and blue look is something that's right up my alley. And I really, really enjoy her collection. And so um, I look forward to every time they bring something out for her. Um, I'm guaranteed to get it because she's such a great doll. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the subscriber that, that requested and suggested this video. And um, please comment down below your thoughts on Mary Ellen. Do you have her? Do you love her? What of the collection is like a must have for you or a dream item? Or is it something you have you don't like? Just let's talk about it. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.